So how should you be protecting your portfolio? Our next guest says biopharma could be your best move. Let's bring in Mohit Bansal. He's a senior equity analyst at Wells Fargo. Mohit, good to see you. And this is a contentious uh, sector to talk about because it has been a tough go for investors lately. Why do you think its fortunes are about to reverse? Thanks, Kelly. And, and yes, uh, so the number one question we are getting right now is that if uh, or when, whenever we get into recession or if that happens, uh, what uh, are the prospect of biopharma sector? And we looked into the past recessions, and that's why we are favoring the sector right now, because in past four recessions spanning over the last 30 years, uh, biopharma sectors has performed every time in those past four recessions. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, these diversified pharmaceutical companies especially, they perform well heading into recession as well. So that's why we are pitching for this sector yeah. because the numbers don't lie, numbers are favoring these sectors. Although uh, this is a this is a weird period because we're we're all kind of talking about inflation recessions. You know, in other words, if biopharma has done well in the past real re actual recessions, you know, um, times of mm -hmm. weak and, and poor demand, will it fare differently this time around when high inflation is the big sticking point? Right. So that, for that reason, we looked at the 1990 and 91 time period. Uh, biotech was uh, really uh, in infancy at that point. So biotech is not the right, right uh, comp there. But pharmaceutical companies actually did perform uh, well during that recessionary period as well, which was driven by high inflation. So I think, I think for that reason, uh, we think this sector could perform really well uh, at this time as well. And I think some of it is already happening over there where uh, investors are taking their position in the sector uh, to avoid any, uh, or, or as a safety play side. Yeah. Your stocks, I'm told, are already wildly outperforming the market. Are you seeing what you would expect to see from them, given the circumstances? Yes, exactly right. Because, I mean, uh, overall, I mean, I, I, I hear you were talking about FX impact on certain companies. So there is FX impact on our biopharmaceutical companies as well. But... Uh, but it is much less uh, significant compared because U.S. is the bigger market for these companies. Mm -hmm. So overall, uh, all these macro issues are not as big a factor for these biopharma companies, uh, Ukraine exposure, supply chain issues. So we are already seeing a little bit of safety play there where mm -hmm. people are asking us more questions around these biopharma yeah. companies. Yeah, and, and PA, it, 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 there is the insulation that people continue to get sick, doggone it, and, and they need medicines. Right, and that's a that's a recession proof, that's a recession proof factor there. That's absolutely right, and I mean, if you are sick, you have to visit the doctor. You are not going to see whether or not this is a recession or not. Uh, so, I mean, these doctors visit uh, and demand for uh, medical services does not go down during right. these periods. Mohit, thank you very much for being with us, Mohit Bansal, Wells Fargo Security Senior Equity Analyst. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Man.